What's up, it's your boy Steven Joe. I wanted to make an announcement. Okay, this is a serious video. I just wanted to announce that I'm 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 dying. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be dead real soon, you know what I'm talking about? I already died, you feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying, a few years ago, but I came back to live. Like God saved me on some real shit. Like, y'all might just hear this video and see this shit like, yo, was this nigga tripping you on drugs? Bro, shut the fuck shut up. <laughs> Bro, like this is real life. Like I died and I came back alive. God gave me another chance a few times, you feel me? But I'm finna die. But I feel like my death is going I know I foresee it as going to be peaceful, full of fulfillment, and it's going to be lit. Because I, I imagine myself probably dying in mid, mid, in, mid in, in the vagina. Like, you know what I'm saying? During a sexual intercourse situation, you know what I'm saying? Don't want to speak too much about it so much, but it could be something fulfilling, something fun. I don't see anything bad happening. What I'm trying to say is here is like, every day we're living and every day we're dying. And for the most part... One, a wise man once not told me, but told myself, I told myself, like, if you're afraid to die, then you're afraid to live. So with that being said, I'm trying to tell you, don't be scared to, you know what I'm saying, jump in that field and be you. Do you. Do whatever you, you do your wildest dreams or pursue it. Turn up. Like, feel me? I'm an underdog. As you can see, a lot of you guys that don't know about me, y'all think I'm new to this shit, but I'm really living like that. I've been doing this for 10 years plus, you feel me? But I've been doing this for so long, and I'm, like, supposed to be where I am beyond where a lot of these young cats and shit, these new YouTubers and social media influencers are. Like, come on. I'm the GOAT. I done inspired so much niggas. These niggas that will never give me my flowers or mention my name because what the fuck? They don't give a fuck. That's not their motherfucking obligation, and I don't give a fuck. I'm going to take the shit like I did before. I'm going to get my own flowers, bitch. Ain't nothing to go to the nearest boutique or the flower, the botanical garden and go buy me a bouquet. But, bitch, anyways, I'm going to die, and I can't wait. Motherfucker, smoke me. I ain't going to die of gun violence because niggas ain't touching me. No, fucking, if they do chose to come come get me like Nipsey Hussle and shit on some fuckboy shit because I'm just bringing laughter to the community. But I know everybody don't like me. Not, not everybody likes me, you know what I'm saying? So all I'm saying is, yo, don't try to live to fulfill everybody, like to make everybody happy. Not everybody all supposed to like you, but anyways, I do a lot of risky shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, shout out to the people that I hear living that life, you feel me? Whether you're in the streets or you're in real life, when you're taking risks, you feel me, and doing what you gotta do, anything can happen to you, you know what I'm saying? Life is like unpredictable, like you could be minding your whole business and trouble just comes your way. But listen, for the most part, be happy, be lit, you know what I'm saying? You don't know what's gonna happen appreciate yourself appreciate what you got appreciate it to the fullest because whatever you whatever what the fuck bro enjoy it live your life love those that love you you know what i'm saying surround yourself around good energy and and live in that moment stop thinking about what you think is going to happen Just think about the positive things that's going to happen and you're making them happen right now and as long as you're making it happen in your mind your vision is created close the mind it's there your mind is perfect. There's a perfection within yourself. And it's, you know what I'm saying? It's hard to get that perfection out of you and have that shit manifested in your reality. But it's already here. And don't be afraid to die. So if you want to die and be successful, die right now. Go get a shotgun and put it at your fucking genitals and blow your penis off in your vagina clitoris. I'm bringing light to this situation because I want to let you guys know. Live your life, bro. It's deeper than what you think. What I'm trying to say is like, bro... You gotta, you know what I'm saying, life is full of weird shit. And I can't wait till I'm like successful and I have the big bank, just successful man, bankroll, like, hey guys, I made it. Nah, bitch, that, and you ain't make it, nigga. Listen, you have to die internally, which is spiritually, you know what I'm saying? Uh, detach yourself from any attachments, addiction, substance abuse, or whatever it is. Like, you don't need anything. You need your heart. You need your. <sighs> bitch! I'm sorry for my language. I'm gangster. I'm from the hood and from the suburbs, so it's hard to maintain both of them at the same time, but I will keep a balance. But I'm dying, and I don't know how I'm going to die, and you going to die too. You just don't know when, motherfucker. It's not like I got a set day, but nigga, live your life. But I'm telling you, we mortal will never die. Your body going to die, bitch, because that motherfucker perishable like some non-perishable, well, perishable food. So, motherfucker, don't get too attached to this material shit and this body that we're borrowing, because right now we're just transportating around this universe and just... You know what I'm saying? Vibrating and shit. But listen, live your life. Love yourself. If you ugly, nigga, you beautiful. If you beautiful, you ugly. Because most of the time, the beautiful people be the ugliest motherfuckers. Because guess what? They show who they really are on the inside because they let the outside rule who they are on the inside. When really everything matters from the in first and going from the out. So love yourself. Take care of yourself. Take care of your health and mental, spiritual. Whoop-de-wop. 
Be around those who spark your flame because you don't know when your day going to come. I'm finna die, you finna die, but we living. We living to die so we die to live so we could live a better life so we could we could trash out the, the layers in the skins like a snake sheds the skin where that part of us is dying and this is a rebirth that's what i'm telling you it's a rebirth for us for you for whatever you're going through is just know it's temporary as long as you don't try to make it temporary because you gotta god got your back but bitch you gotta do something you gotta do something to help motherfucker make that shit change nigga so don't give up because giving up is hard because yeah i don't thought about suicide many times and giving up but i realized that shit is even harder if you've been there, you know that it's hard. You know you ain't gangster enough to go get a mother... Blah, bam. It's not easy. So just know you're lit. You know what I'm saying? It's so much life that we don't live. And there's like, a lot of people that are still unhappy with all the money in the world. And they're doing crazy shit that you would think, bitch, you got the, all the answers. No. It's deeper than that. So just know you ain't no different. And them motherfuckers ain't no different from you. And we all have that power and the ability to succeed and prosper. So don't be like a motherfucking nigga that can't heal like a doctor. Because a doctor can't heal you. Because you are your own doctor. They can just go help you. Assist yourself. Because God got your back. And you know you got the wealth. It's your boy. And I'm co-signing this shit. And his vows just stamping and sealed. And you know how I feel. Stephen Tilly and Mr. Kyle. I'm back and I'm dying. And I'm rebirthing. And I'm reborn, bitch. Just like you. And we the stars. We the black. And yeah, I know you like the setup, bitch. Cause I, I got it right. You know what I'm saying? I look like one of them YouTubers that be doing some special shit. Like the hut. I'm gangster. I get in the field and go risk my life and go possibly almost get shot by a motherfucker thing. And they, I'm about to take their chain and shit or disturb an piece. I, I have to take sacrifices, but I ain't afraid to die. I gotta live in a stupid but smart way. Balance the two, and you are gonna be having a good day. Bang. Hey, as I'm editing the video. I did realize I'm like looking like I'm off, I'm off of pills or something like uh because I'm like I don't know where to look at at the the camera lens or the goddamn screen that I'm looking at the reflection and then I'm thinking so I'm like and then I'm not used to vlogging much so I don't know quite where to look at so I'm like thinking and shit like come on so I'm pointing out before you guys point it out because I'm reviewing and editing the shit and uploading it I'm aware so don't bully me. Sober life, nigga, get off life, nigga, stop playing with me, because I be, y'all niggas be tripping. I'm pointing that bitch out before y'all play with me.